Carl Sylvester Jasper. And I'm Fabio Carvalho, and this is 20 Minutes with Us. Um, cool. So, yeah, always been the dream that like, ever since I started playing football, like that you just watch football like, every day, basically, and so that's what you want to emulate, that's what you want to become when you're older. So, doing that when I uh, play first team, like that's kind of the dream. But the dream is not just to play one or two matches, like you want to be become a regular, you want to start performing at that level and then progress to the highest level of football. So, yeah, it's the dream to make it, but. There's a lot more that we still have to do in order to fulfill our dreams. That's what I think. Yeah, like Sylvester just said, like the job's not done. Obviously, it's a bit surreal when you first make your debut here with the big boys now. It's a bit surreal. But um, obviously, the journey we've both been through and um, been a lot of hard work, dedication. And it's always been the goal from like a young child, from like my personal background, um, where I'm from in Lisbon, it's all about football and they're very like football oriented. So like to make it, to make it one, like to, for me to be making it um, as one of the people from Portugal, from where I'm from, it's a big achievement, not just for myself, but for the whole neighborhood because that's everyone's dream over there. So yeah, it's a special feeling for me and my family and others, obviously. Uh, ooh, where am I like as a player? I feel like, I just like, when I play, I just want to express myself really like, I like, I like dribbling, I like creating, of course, you don't like scoring, but yeah, like when I'm, when I'm playing, I just don't, there has to be no fear that like when you play, so like I might try to trip, like other people might not try, try to pass that other people might not see, like just try and be creative and like just please people that watch and obviously try and score an assist to help the team. That's what I think, probably very similar. Yeah, <laughs> like so I just said, like I feel like that's a very accurate description of himself. Um, where me, I'm kind of similar to so as well. Like, I don't like boring football because, like, if I was to play boring, I wouldn't even be playing football because it's like you want to express yourself, want to be able to be creative, try things that others don't try. So, I like, also obviously goals and assists, that's the main thing. But then now and again, like, try and express yourself because when you're playing happy, that's when your best football comes out. That's what I think. Uh, so, man wasn't last season, it was this season. So, and it was a good achievement. So I was at, over at LSE with the twin freeze, and then I get calls saying that I should go get tested and train with the first team. So then, because it was a cup game coming up, I think, yeah, because I've been doing well, I think I'll get my chance. And then eventually it did, it did come. And yeah, it was a good achievement to be able to make my, my debut. But obviously the job not done yet. The, like Saul said, this, the goal is to be an established first team player. So yeah. Yeah, first. Yeah, um... Mine's quite similar, like, you just get cool. I was, uh, I think the team was all off because uh, last year with the corona just started, so everyone was off, like, all from the 23s, the whole academy, and I got a call from uh, one of the first team coaches, say, just come in to train, say, like, because there was a lot of games coming up at the end of the season, so I thought, oh, yeah, I'm just going to go to train, make up some numbers, but hopefully you can impress them. And then, uh, yeah, training, I must have been impressed, and then... They should get, should get, get shot. Yeah, you're in the squad tomorrow. And yeah, that's it. Just go through. Uh, obviously, you're playing with the best of the best, like in the country, within the country. So, like, that within itself is a good experience because you get to see, like, kind of where you're at and, like, who you're competing against, which is very good. And then you get to play against the best in the world because you get to compete against teams from, like, teams from all over the, the, um, the globe. So yeah, it's a good experience because you get to kind of see where you're at, like who you're competing with, not just within the country, but worldwide. So yeah, I feel like it's just a good experience and like the, the games are just good, competitive. And like, yeah, you get to express yourself as well as um, oh, football club, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that is right though, it's right. Like everything you said is correct. It's just, I feel like it's just a different experience, different vibe, different environment. Like you're so used to your football club, isn't it? But then you go there, it's different players, different coaches. The way you're getting told to play is a little bit different. And like, I think you even have a bit more motivation to like to like express yourself and like do your thing because it's not just a national state, like just you're playing Fulham against other teams in England. It's like a global stage that you're playing on. There's people from what, Belgium, France, Germany, whatever, all watching you. So it's like, I wouldn't say pressure because that is not really pressure. Because you're playing football, like, 
but it's like you just want to do more. You want to impress your people to be talking about you. So, yeah, the stage is big and like, I feel that like we both like it, like we don't kind of play it. Um, I would say Ronaldinho, because that's my like, idol in it. So, like, he's just a player that's phenomenal. Like, he was playing with a smile on his face, and that's when his best football came out. That's what I think. So, yeah. Probably you got a couple of tests in the end. I know, I know. It's scary on me. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> oh, it's me. Oh, um, I, football idols. Uh, Neymar, man. Things this guy does on the pitch, it's, it's rude, it's very disrespectful, but we love it, man. We love to see it, man. Just taking a look at feathers, it's, it's beautiful. I feel like he's the only one that actually play, like, plays with that flair and that, like, I feel like, like recently it's been a bit boring. It's not been, you don't see that many Neymars or Ronaldinho's playing nowadays. And then, yeah, yeah that's what, like, made, made me fall in love with the game, so... Yeah, like, football getting a bit choreographed, a lot of tactics being thrown out here and there, like... Yeah. To let more people will express themselves because that now you see a lot of nil nils, a lot of boring games, and that's sad. Like Colin oh, says, football's not choreographed. Yeah, never choreographed. No. Um, yeah, yeah, great. Like, obviously, you need to have that little chemistry connection because you like when you're on the pitch, you got to read what the other people are doing, and you can't talk like say, Yeah, I'm gonna pass it to you, and now you're gonna give it to me there. Like, well, it's like more all in the brain. So like having that connection off the pitch, just you help understand the player, what the player likes, how they like to play. And then that will just help you on the pitch when you're trying to play with them. And it'll just help the team. Like the better everyone knows each other, the better you guys will play together, I think. I also feel like team chemistry helps not just personal performance, but like the whole team's performance. Because if if like, like me and so like you just said, like we're very close friends and we, we know how each other play. And like that would just benefit us and then as well the team because we can create more chances, score more goals, assist, assist each other. And then if the whole team's chemistry is high, then we know what each other are gonna do. And then it's kind of like a family, like you go into a game knowing like everyone's got your back, everyone's gonna be there for you. If you get into like a little scrap, then they're gonna have your back. And then yeah, it just makes you feel more comfortable when you play. I think I think my you know what, yeah. Ah, there's a lot scoring for your country. It's up there playing. When I, I think, ah, no, man, when I played against uh, Man City at the A, had that, that was probably the best moment because, like, obviously, we're not used, I'm not used to playing in front of that many people. Like, there was like 40 plus thousand people in the stadium, family were watching, playing against people that like play like FIFA, I watch on TV all the time. Like, it's, it's just a bit crazy that like, when you're doing it. So it's like, yeah, that's probably the, my craziest moment. That's the best moment of my career so me, far. Me, I'll probably say, probably my debut. But obviously, because of the corona thing, like, I wasn't able to make it in front of my family. But just coming home and then seeing how proud they are of me, that, that just made my, like, my day. And then I just want to keep doing that, keep, like, doing great things so I can make them proud. Uh, it just depends on the day, to be honest. Because some days we have double sessions. On like a Tuesday, we'll have a double session. So we'll go in, um, do pre-act, um, and then go out, warm up, train, and then get some food, rest for a bit, and then go out and do a double session. But then whereas like on a Monday, you go in, pre-act, um, do the session, eat, and then do some gym, some like lower body. And then if you want to do optional, like a bit of core or a bit of uppers, you can do that in your own time. So yeah, it just really depends on the day and like what you want to do like to benefit yourself. <laughs> he does all, we've got Lee, great, great man, man. Been there, whilst the whole academy days. Just helps us with everything, but brings in people to help us. Yeah. Like any financial talks, life after football. Yeah. Obviously you need to know about this stuff as footballers, man. Like, Puts on meetings and that. Great man. Also, um, Ollie Dixon, he helps like with like the mental side. So if you're going through something, you can always speak to him. And like he's just there to listen to what you have to say. If something's not going right on the pitch or off the pitch, he's just there to help you. So yeah, I think he he helps a lot of players to be honest.
for me, my brother, because like growing up, obviously he's older than me and then everything he used to do, like, like I said, like back in my old neighborhood, it was all about football. So he brought me into football because I saw him playing. And I was like, oh, I want to do that as well. And like, he was very good. So even to this day, he helps me with my football. Like we'll go out, do a bit of like training and that. And then he'll like, let me know how my games went, what I can improve on, what I've done well. So yeah, he's been a big part of my footballing career. Yeah. Um, with me, my dad, my mum, my mum takes care of the diet aspect of things, like any food I need, she'll make it, like, especially how I need it for, just for an athlete, like, when she clothes and that, take take care of that side, and then my dad just, yeah, taking me to every game, coming to watch all the games, like, just to be supportive, and, Harry, man, you know, yeah. and then, uh, yeah, man, just give me all the feedback, he's my biggest critic probably and it's good that it's that way he's not no one of them that's just gonna like blow for, like praises right. and that all the time like, yeah I hear that I hear that <laughs> yeah man he's, he's always gonna just gonna praise me all the time and like, telling me what I do wrong fat the oh damn I swear on this if I had a bad game then he's gonna <laughs> tell me I have a bad game like, it's, it's, yeah I feel like you need people on is, your side like, like that to be honest because like it's it's like good when everyone's just saying good things, but like, are you really doing them good things? Like, I'd rather someone like tell me what I can improve on, then I can make like get better. So yeah. Just enjoy that, man. Yeah. Just enjoy. Yeah. Just play with yeah. a smile on your face, like. Just do anything yeah. that makes you happy. Don't listen to any outside outside noise, like telling you you can't do this, you can't do that. Just go out and express yourself. Yeah. yeah. Because, like, me personally, well. had, like, a couple of coaches where they, they'll be like, oh, like, you can't really do this, you can't really do that. But you, you have to try, like, new things. That's that's what makes you a special player. That's what makes you the best, so. Um, I know Fabio's going to be a little chef there. Yeah, I've learned how to cook over quarantine. So, yeah, like, the first lockdown, like, my sister and my mum, like, just taught me how to cook. And I feel like that's a good life school because... You're not, you can't just depend on people anymore. Because, like, one day, well, they might not be around and then you might need to do it yourself. So, yeah, I like cooking, to be honest. Like, it's, it's a bit of a stress reliever. So, yeah. yeah. Are you so? Yeah. Oh, see me. Man, I started reading recently, man. Writing stuff mm-hmm. down. Reading some books. Like, you reading? Educate you Pardon? What are you reading? Right now, reading this book, it's just called Sleep, man. It's going to help me with my sleep. Tell right. me what time to sleep and that. So yeah. I recommend it to you. It's, it's a very good book. Cool, cool, yeah, cool. you know, rest is important. It's, it's vital for us to still be, you know, recovery. So, yeah, man, stuff like that. Just reading, progress the mind. You travel and train, and that's what I said. Whenever on the That's same team, that's a very good quiz. Whenever on the same We're not team, on the same team. Yeah, so we just compete and compete, like to see who wins games. And like, say I'll win a game, and then at the end of the time, I'll be like, oh, so you just lost, you just lost. Or like, say something cheeky like that, and then you'll do the same. And then like, it just brings like each other's levels up. Yeah, that's what I think. Yeah, man. that's, that's, that's a great. When you play first team, like, there's obviously good players as well. Like, um, Angisa, he's yeah, he's good. Lookman as well. There's all these types of players, but yeah. Yeah. What about you, son? Me, man. It's you, man. <laughs> you, said, you said it all. <laughs> you said it all, man. Yeah, when training, not last we're on the same team. We're on the same team. There's problems, man. So <laughs> separate us. That's the thing, man. It's you. <laughs> sort of favorite athlete. Ah, right, cool. If I say personally, Odell, either Odell Beckham Jr. or Steph Curry, I'm going to say Odell Beckham Jr. because work rate's up there. He's got the skill in what he does, and I, I like the way he portrays it. His fashion, very nice. Like the way he dresses, <laughs> hair is nice. Like, I just, that's personally just good vibes, man. And Steph Curry, Steph Curry, Steph Curry, man, just that nice vibes, does what he does. Um, Michael Jordan, because I already I don't really like basketball like that, but like my dad used to always tell me about him, like as an athlete and like what you have to do, like work hard and that. 
And then after I saw that um, documentary on Netflix, I don't know if you've seen it yet, that actually blew my mind away. Like the way he worked hard, like all the, how he dealt with like all the fame, like all the money and that, I feel like it was just incredible. And then like, even when people were criticizing him, he like didn't let that affect him. And like, yeah. just his mindset was just unbelievable. World Cup, World Cup. World Cup. World Cup. Like World Cup is like for your country, in it, like for everyone. And then World Cup, you also like Champions League, you get to compete in it like every every year, so you have more chances yeah. of winning it. Like, whereas World Cup is like every four years, so World Cup special, man. Special, yeah. special for me. Yeah. Yeah. Like come back from win Champions League, like only your team and that is happy. Like you got rivals in your country, but like if you win World Cup, like everyone's happy, man. Like yeah. Messi. <laughs> Messi, man. Priest in the pudding. Through play. <laughs> Two words right out of my mouth. No, do you know what it is? Yeah, my brother's right next to me as well, and he's going to hate me with this because we've always had these like debates growing up and that. Because Ronaldo, he thinks Ronaldo's better, but me being Portuguese, I still think Messi's better. It's like he's won more Golden Beats, more Ballon d'Ors. He's just, even though he's not having the best season right now, I still think he's the goat, man. Messi can do things no one else can do. Like Ronaldo, yeah, I can learn to jump high. I can shoot, I can train myself to shoot from 50 meters, man. But Messi, yeah, some of the stuff this guy has done, yeah, is, uh, you, can't, you can't teach it. Don't, no, get it wrong. don't get me wrong, like, Ronaldo's phenomenal as well, but I just feel like yeah. Messi's just a tiny bit better. You know. Mbappe. Mbappe can do more, though. But Haaland is hard, but... Yeah, he scores a lot of goals. Just a shooter, like Mbappe can run skills. He can do more. He can score as well. He's been bagging as well. So it's like, yeah, a lot. Yeah, I go with Mbappe as well. He's he's just how can he won the World Cup at nineteen? If I'm not mistaken, scored in the World Cup final. Like he can't. I feel like first team football. Um, whether it's at Fulham or elsewhere is important because like you want to be competing with the best of the best and like trying to test yourself with like men's football um, that's for me personally and I feel like so probably agree with himself and, like, with that as well because like we need to test ourselves because we've been doing like 23 football for, for a bit now and like we just need the next step the next step and yeah I feel like that's the next step so yeah yeah 100% next 5-10 years we'll be playing Champions League man one of the top five leagues in the world. Hopefully, we can both bring Fulham there, man. Fulham in Champions League, man. It'd be great. Yeah, man. Ballon d'Ors and that. Go with yeah. at least one each. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Now, that's the goal, though. Like, I feel like yeah. got the football to do it, like, to be competing for Ballon d'Ors, Champions League. That's yeah. what I believe in it. And then whether other people believe it or not, we're just going to have to work hard and prove them wrong in it. So, um, hi, guys. Thanks for watching. I've been Fabio Carvalho, and he's been... I've been Sylvester Jasper, and we are the Wonder Kids.